let, let, let me let me let me give credit where credit is due. Now I'll read this to you because this is on their website. The Meet the Creators. Luke, the director, is an award-winning journalist and videographer, and uh, Katie, the producer, is a professional musician and non-fiction writer. We're cool. a husband and wife team, and The Way is our first feature-length film. And they got funding for this on uh, on um, GoFundMe or some, some site uh-huh. like that. Um, they raised over $41,000 with 259 backers on Kickstarter. That's what it was, Kickstarter. Uh, the average donation was uh, 158 bucks. Uh, so obviously, and I got to say, I was I was interested in this. The trailer looks uh, somewhat interesting. Now, now, there's honestly these people, Luke and Katie, have only. I just saw a very short interview with them. They've only been in the messianic slash Hebrew roots movement for uh, I don't know uh, a year, year and a half. So they're very new to it. Which is which is great, uh, you know. There's a lot of zeal there. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, is that, you know, I, I feel like they uh, they haven't been in it long enough to realize yeah. who they're discernment. Who... Discernment takes time. You know, yeah. you can't accelerate discernment. Discernment is something that you acquire over the long haul of of uh, wrestling it out, of staying in the word, being in community, being reading books, having co- lots of conversations with people. Praying, losing sleep, being on your face before the Lord. You know, I mean, you got to do that for, for a long time, and you, you slowly, you know, we grow in discernment that way. It, it's a problem in general is that the, our capacity to produce media, like good-looking, attractive media, whether it's video or text, you know, websites, um, is way uh, exceeded people's, you know, capacity to really soundly present the scripture uh, in on the rock, you know, uh, built on the rock. And so what happens is just like with, you know, any kind of thing like that, even in the music world, you know, all of a sudden everybody can have music production software. That doesn't mean it's all great music, but it just means the world that gets flooded with, with, well, look. Let's let's give let's give Luke credit. The cinematography and everything looks really good. It looks like they really, you know, he knows what he's doing. You can tell, you know, you can tell. Yeah, but that's he, not. Co- but that's not core content. I know. And what people are going to say, gravy. Uh, pe- that's, what people, that's, what, what, yeah. But what people are going to say is, oh, here go Robin Caleb down and you know something they haven't even seen. Here's the thing. Okay, now when I first saw the trailer, I noticed they got Brad Scott in there. Uh, Brad Scott has emailed me and told me he is not two house. I. I'm sorry. I mean, you might not like the title, but looking at the stuff that he's uh, put out and the people that he associates with, I I, I say that I have to say that he's two house. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, know. I... Um, and then you got uh, you know you got Zach Bauer, you got uh, um, who's who's the uh, who's the guy who calls himself an apostle. Anyway, he's on there two house as well. You know, so, so what, bunch... what's the what's what's the point? What are okay. they doing? Are well, they they're selling a selling a, they're casting a vision of no, no, messianic? What, no, what they wanted to do it, basically, uh, they're asking a couple of questions. Basically, they're seeing what they're calling this like uh, I forget uh, what do they call it a revival or something to the biblical festivals, biblical Sabbath, all these kind of things it, within the church. And so people coming out of the church realizing, you know, and they kind of almost down the church in the. A little bit in the in the uh, in the tr- in some of the things that I've seen, but and that kind of turned me off a little bit. But then I think yesterday, the day before, they released a video, or maybe it was even before that. But they released a video of behind the scenes, and they're interviewing Michael Rood, and oh. it totally ruined it for me. So okay, so that again, we have good intentions. Obviously, it sounds like they've got. Oh, they Good have great, intentions, yeah. and and it's and Arthur I'm Bailey. Sure. Arthur Bailey, thank you, chat room. Arthur yeah. Bailey's the guy who I was thinking of, and they also got Rico Cortez. We, you know, we've gone back and forth with Rico. I still think Rico's two house. He he admits it. I, I hope that that this is a good uh, for those who watch it. This is just a good uh, conversation starter and gets people in the hopper. You know, in terms of filtering down. So, this this is a good now uh, I I agree. Somebody in the chat room says if God can use a donkey, he can use the Hebrew roots movement. Absolutely, God can use anything he wants. But when my child says that uh, he's thirsty, when my three year old says he's thirsty, I'm not handing him strychnine and saying, "Well, God'll God'll quench his thirst and and uh, preserve him." That's not what you do. 
Just like someone who's in the church who has questions about these things, I'm not going to hand them something that has Michael Rood in it and say, here, watch this. <laughs> Why would I oh, do Robert, that? Robert has a good point. He says most of these people, most people already see these people as leaders of the movement, quote, yeah, using that, scare quotes. Yeah. And I, I think what is, it's a good point, Robert, because um, if you see the number, basically, <laughs> It's like it's like American Idol. <laughs> you know, we what we do is we'll watch the market for a year. We'll see who gets the most who's getting the most uh, hits. And then we'll put those people in a movie. Then our movie will definitely at least I, have it, an initial a warm market. OK, I don't, now see, that sounds that sounds does that sound pretty mean of me I, to say that? I don't think that that's what's actually going on. I, I mean, I, maybe there's parts of that in there. In other words, or is it that the 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 producers are naive and so they just assume that the people that easily came on their radar must be the ones that represent? And maybe uh, it's yeah. I truth. think that, that that's more it, and I think it's also might be that that look. There's no doubt Michael Rood, uh, even though he's a false prophet and a false teacher in my mind, and I think according to the scriptures, he has led people in, into truth. There's a lot of people I know who say, yeah, I got started with Michael Rood, and then I realized he was totally nuts, And now, but, you know, he's the one who brought me in. Yeah, yeah, that's that's totally fine. So uh, these people are probably the same. They, they, they came into this movement a year ago. They see Michael Rood. They see all these people. They say, oh, this is great. Okay, and then they, they want to make a documentary about it. I think that their heart is absolutely right. 